Hey everybody, it's Steve from stevesanella.com. How are you today? I'm here in my office, uh, my working office during the day, uh, not my home office, and not my car. And the reason why I'm filming here, and I haven't really done that in the past, is because it's easy. It's easy because I spent a lot of time here. And that's what I wanted to talk a little bit about in this video. The path of least resistance. If you want to change anything that you have going on, if you want to develop new habits, if you want to build something new in your life, the trick is you have to make it easy and accessible for yourself to do it. The more difficult the steps are that you have to take, the less likely it is that you're either going to start it or continue doing it once you have started. And what I mean by that is if you want to change things, if you want to develop new habits, making them simpler to do makes them easier to follow through with. Now, don't confuse doing things that are easy with making things you want to do easier. What I mean by this is, let's say you want to exercise more and maybe you have a treadmill and maybe that treadmill is sitting in your basement well, what are the chances that you spend a lot of time hanging out in your basement? Chances are you spend more time in your living room or in your bedroom or in other areas in your house. So if you take that treadmill and you put it in your living room instead of leaving it down in your basement, there's a far greater chance that you're going to use that treadmill more and get into better shape because the path of least resistance would put the treadmill in a place where you spend more time. If you want to establish new habits, work towards making it easier to allow you to do those things. Put things, again, from a health standpoint. If you have trouble avoiding eating bad food, how about you don't buy the bad food? If it's not in your house, you're less likely to eat it. Conversely, buy healthier food, keep that in the house, so when you do get hungry, it's easier for you to grab a healthy snack. These things can apply to anything that you're working on. If you are trying to improve meditation, find a nice easy place, set it up ahead of time. If you meditate in a living room and the living room is always cluttered and before you can sit down and meditate, you have to clean up a space for you to sit down in, you're far less likely to sit down and actually use that time to meditate because you're going to see all of the obstacles that are in your way you're going to look at the time it's going to take you to clean out an area for you to sit down and do meditation and eventually you're going to say it's too much work I'm not going to do it. We as humans we like things simple. We like things easy. Don't fight that. Play into your strength. Set up a place ahead of time so that when you have five or ten minutes and you want to sit and do a meditation the space is there waiting for you. Easy. Keep it simple. So that's my thought for today, and that's why my video is here, in this office. It's easier for me to do it here. I'm also trying to establish a better habit of communicating with other people, creating more videos, sharing more of what I know, and putting it out there. And I'm like everyone else. When things are a little more challenging, I'm less likely to do it. So make it easy. That's why my video is here and not in some fancy studio, which I am building by the way. I am building a studio in my home so that I can do more videos from there. But the truth is, I'm going to do far fewer videos from that studio than I can do on the road because it's easier. Path of least resistance. All right, that's my thought for today. Hope you found this beneficial. As always, subscribe to the channel, put some comments down below. I love hearing from people. Thank you to everyone who's reached out to me. Um, I always do my best to get back to all comments and all emails. Email steve at stevesanella.com. Reach out to me anytime with any questions. I would love to hear from you. All right, that's it for me. We'll talk again soon. Have an amazing day.